Well, yeah. since launching in 2006, Media Takeout has become one of the most popular websites in the world. It receives more than a half a million page views per day. Half a million per day? Per day. Goodness. And if you're looking for the juice, the gossip, the scandal in the world of black celebrities, you have to go to Media Takeout. That's so true, isn't it? <laughs> it has everything. It has everything. Well, here to tell us all about how he created his gossip juggernaut mm -hmm. is Media Takeout founder Fred Mawanga Hunga. There you go. All right, she got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Fred. No, 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 say it again. Say it. Mawanga Gahunga. Mawanga okay. Gahunga. That is beautiful. Where is that from? It's my parents are from Uganda in East Africa. Oh, a fellow okay. African on yeah, set. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how we roll. Like <laughs> Lots of vowels in our names. Huh? <laughs> right, we right, love those right. vowels. So, Fred. You went to school for business and law, yeah. and you were actually in the dry cleaning business, and now you're airing people's dirty laundry for a living. How did <laughs> you How did you get into this gossip world? It's a weird thing. I mean, I never set out to it. I mean, I always knew that I love black culture, I love hip hop, I love celebrity, mm -hmm. just like I think a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of weird that I ended up here. I mean, I went to school for law and business, I worked uh, on Wall Street for four years, decided to try my luck and start a business, which was a laundry business. When we sold that business, the opportunity to start a blog kind of fell in my lap and I took it. Hmm. But were you ever into the celebrities, even through college, were you like following all the tabloids and stuff like that? Not so much the tabloids, right? Okay. But I mean, I'm always trying to kind of figure out what's going on, right? So if I'm a sports mm -hmm. fan, I want to know what the next trade is. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm a hip hop fan, right? So I want to know when the albums are coming out, that kind of stuff. And it just kind of turned itself into, a little bit more scandalous and you take it. <laughs> a little bit more scandalous. <laughs> right, just a little. Mm -hmm. Well, now, people have often called your site a black TMZ. How did you come up with the idea for a gossip site in particular? Well, I mean, when we first started Media Takeout, there really weren't that many African-American blogs, and there weren't that many African-American blogs that were specifically talking about celebrity news and celebrity gossip. I mean, remember, we started when TMZ was just a small company. Mm -hmm. right? We started in 2006, Yeah, correct? in 2006. Mm -hmm. So now here we are, uh, about seven, seven and a half years later, and we've grown as the entertainment industry or uh, online has grown, as the blogosphere has grown, and as the urban blogosphere has grown, we've kind of rode the wave all up with it. Mm -hmm. Well, with w riding the wave, you know, one of the things that I think is interesting is when you started, not a lot of people were doing black celebrity news. So why did you decide to focus specifically on that niche? Well, I mean, we, I knew when, when we first started Media Takeout, people just did not believe that black people were on the internet. Mm -hmm. I remember when really? I started, people were like, well, Fred, I mean, you're gonna do celebrity news. We might wanna mix some white stuff in there because black people really don't have computers. Wow. What? Wow. People were saying that stuff to me all the time and it was, I knew it. I was like, well, I got computers. Mm -hmm. Everybody I know got computers, mm -hmm. so, you know, and there wasn't any other place for us to go. So I started Media Takeout, kind of went on there and I proved them all wrong, right? We're now going mm -hmm. out there, we're outperforming most of the other mainstream celebrity news sites. And I think one of the reasons is you always find the scoop. Yes. How do you do it? Is it really, does it come from like the insiders, like the hairstylist, the bodyguard, the bitter girlfriend, they're just <laughs> spilling their guts to you, like this will happen. Like, how do you get that scoop? Well, I'll say that the best sources are always the baby's mamas. So uh oh, any baby's, baby's mamas. Mama, yeah, that's, that's the best sources. Cause they angry. Yeah, <laughs> and they got, they got a bone to pick and they know that we're right over there ready to put so, somebody uh, on blast. What do you do? You cultivate the baby's mamas? Yeah, I mean, you, some, okay. well before, you know, sometimes, first they're girlfriends, right? So you'd be uh, nice to them when they're girlfriends, okay. then they become baby's mothers, and then all oh, hell hits the fan, and then we're right there to take <laughs> wow. And you're right there, there getting are. the scoop. What are some of the biggest things you've broken on this site? Probably. I mean, you're all over Rihanna and mm -hmm. Chris Brown. Yeah, I mean, that's your was, website today. Right, I mean, that was one of our bigger stories. The mm -hmm. day that Chris Brown and assaulted Rihanna, we were there, we broke that news story. No one else believed it. People were saying, oh, this is not true, this couldn't possibly have happened. We had an insider over there that told us that it happened. Um, and that was probably one of our bigger news stories. But we've broken a bunch of stuff like pregnancies, Kim Kardashian's pregnancy. Um, uh, and today, like you said, Chris Brown and Rihanna, they were together, they're now officially apart. They're now officially apart. Is that the new juice? That's the new juice. I didn't know that. Look at you bringing us this scoop. Well, which celebrities generate the most interest for you all? I'd say right now, Rihanna is probably pretty close to the top. Mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj is doing really well. Beyonce with her new album and her tour mm -hmm. is doing pretty well too. So, I mean, obviously females tend to do a little bit better than males, mm -hmm. and the, I think a lot of the people that you'd expect do pretty well. Well, what do you do when information is not right? If it's false, if they're like, who started this rumor, we don't know. Chris <laughs> and Rihanna are actually still together and getting married. So right. then what do you do? Well, I mean, you know. Yeah, how do you vet the information? Right. Because anybody can call you and, and say, say anything. Right. Right, I mean, part of the thing you do is when people call, call you up and give you information, you can't just kind of run with it, because you end up with 
egg on your face a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you try and follow through. Sometimes you try and find someone. Like if someone were to tell me, Chris and Rihanna broke up, I might ask why, how do you know? What, do you, mm -hmm. what, what went on? And then we act, since we've been around for seven years, we might not necessarily have the subject, but we have people all around them that can tell us stuff, okay. that can verify. We can, you know, if someone says, well, they, we know because Rihanna was at this club last night. Mm -hmm. We know people at every single club. So we could say, was, was she at that club? Okay. We could call up and make that thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, there's a lot of work to it. It's not really a science. Mm -hmm. We've been doing it for a while, and we got pretty good at it. Well, let me ask you this, because you have a small staff that you're working with. Do you ever pay a little cash for your stories or one of those scandalous pictures we see? It, yeah, I mean, we were pretty open about it. I mean, okay. you don't want to really put out there that you're paying for stories because mm -hmm. then people will come up with all kinds of really, really good <laughs> lies right. to just take your money. So you don't really want to put it out there like that. And most uh -huh. of the time, people will give you stuff for nothing, right? Mm. And you, it's a lot of time people are like, oh, well, people, would people actually do it? I mean, you look mm -hmm. at Jerry Springer, right? People go on Jerry Springer, air out their baby's father on Jerry Springer, <laughs> fight him on TV, don't get paid nothing, right? They right, get a huh? per diem in a, a, a hotel room and they're willing to do that. So why people do this, you never really know. Sometimes people have personal motives. Sometimes people just want to put it out there. Sometimes people are just gossips. Um, but we're there to take the information and help put it out there to the public. Well, you know, some critics have said that your site perpetuates sort of black ratchet behavior. Mm. What, do you, what do you say to critics who may have a problem with some of the pictures that are on your site, and some of the racier pictures. I mean, do we really need to see Jocelyn's nether regions spread? Oh. <laughs> well, well, I mean, well. especially in, <laughs> in the case of Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop, there was an absolute reason to show it. I mean, there was a lot of people out there that were saying that this is a man. Oh. And so we had to prove that she's a woman, and how else do you prove without showing, you know, the nether region? Wow. Did you really have to prove it? I mean, you had to, we, but, but you know, we wanted actual proof, because you want to end all rumors, right? So we wanted, she had to bust it. You know what I mean? You can't just show it. You got to bust it so that we know 100% this is a woman. So you're not necessarily doing ratchet journalism. This is investigative journalism. You're bringing the <laughs> truth to the people. That's right. Sometimes <laughs> journalism goes down ratchet lane, and you got to just be there. Ratchet lane. I love ratchet lane. Gosh. Well, you know, last week you ran photos of an NFL player named, what is this, Carrie Rhodes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you didn't come out and say that he was gay, but it was implied that he was gay. Right, I mean, now, how did Kerry Rhodes respond to that? Well, I mean, and were you worried that there may be a lawsuit of sorts? Well, I think whenever you're putting out information like that, you are always thinking about it. It's always in the back of your mind. But bigger than that, right, is that you really want to put out the truth. There's all kinds of rumors. There's NBA players coming out. Is this person gay? Is he not? Mm -hmm. We don't know, and if, if we knew one way or the other, we would have reported it. We would have said, yes, he is gay, no, he isn't, right? He said he isn't, but those photographs of him and that dude with no shirt on, hugging and caressing and whatever, that and he did was, not he look. He was kissing his forehead. That, you know what I mean? That was, but I mean. Did you, but did you have to make the football pink and sparkly? <laughs> I'm saying, you know. <laughs> did you have to pink is good, right? Pink is good. Pink is, pink is in this good. year. Now, that might be fighting words for some people. And, you know, last week we had on Jamie Foster Brown from Sister the Sister. And she said some people don't like her stories. And they have actually come after her, put threats on her life. Have you had to ever worry about your safety? No, I mean, stories? I mean, I think, you know, what you, you always don't necessarily want to be in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. Right, but right. we talk more about women and stuff like that. So it's not necessarily you don't really have any of that stuff with me. Oh, okay, so no baby um, mama drama's coming after you. No, no, no. Baby's mama is coming after me, and I mean when I'm out there, right? So uh -huh. my phone number's out there and whatever. And so people, if they want to come after me, they could come, and you know, I guess you just have to just take the good and the bad. Right? But you're not scared. No, <laughs> you can't. You like you, you can come after you, whatever. You, you can't <laughs> be scared. If you're in this business, you got to be like, this is what it is, and you just take it how it comes. Hmm. All right. So what's the most fun part of your job? I love my job. I mean, mm -hmm. you get to wake up in the morning and look and talk about, listen to the music that you want to listen to, mm -hmm. go to the websites that if I wasn't doing this, I'd be going to, and, and, and just learning about this stuff that you really want to. I mean, I spend so much time on YouTube and just doing, I'm, I'm over there playing on the internet for a living. Mm -hmm. We want to find out great. if you're playing on your website or ah. not. So we have a little game where we're going to go through some questions and find out if you know what's really on your website. All right, Lola, you got the first one for okay, him? Okay, which hip-hop star was spotted handing out prophylactics in Miami Beach? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, that would be Luther Campbell from Two Live Crew. Oh, oh look at you. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. That I, is correct. I have another one for you. What supermodel is now rocking blonde hair a la Beyonce? That would be Naomi Campbell. 
Is she really? Yes, yes she is. How she did I miss right. that? Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> and looking good doing it. Okay, Go ahead, what's the girl? next question? What troubled singer left his bodyguard literally stranded on a desert island? Uh, that would be Chris Brown. Of course. <laughs> Who else, right? This game is too easy. Uh, he knows it. You he, actually pay attention, <laughs> actually, I guess. You you actually actually playing on the on internet. Site. There you go. <laughs> All right, here's another one for you. Which pregnant star is the latest relationship casualty on reality TV? Hmm. Mm, da, 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 da. Pregnant reality. Yes. Ah, oh, Rashida from Love and Hip Hop. Wow. Can you, you see the it. answers? I know, I'm like, he's know? getting okay. all these right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we have one more for you. Who was Rashida from Love and Hip Hop? I don't know her. Okay, anyway. What Oscar nominated celebrity did you trash for her red carpet appearance? <laughs> Uh, there's probably a bunch of them. Oh, uh, yeah, you've done that. Uh, uh, once. Gabby Sidibe? Uh, yeah, Gabby Sidibe. Yeah. Sidibe. Oh, that's the name, Sidibe? That's how you pronounce it. See, I'm over here. I'm African names too. I that's guess. another precious. African name. <laughs> well, Fred, thank you so much for being here. You awesome. got to come back again and bring us the scoop. You promise? Yeah, I promise. All we want right. something to break here right on our show. All right. And we better uh -huh. make sure we're never on your site. Because that means we've been acting <laughs> up, right? That's right. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Thank you, Fred. Thank, thank you. you. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.